we can use multiplication to check our answer to a division problem. Let's do an example with whole numbers. If we're dividing 10 by 2, we know 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Let's turn around and check our answer. Our answer was 5. Let's check our answer using multiplication. Going backwards, we would see that 5 times 2 has to get me back to what we started with, and we started with 10. So we just used multiplication to check our quotient. Our quotient was 5. So we started with the quotient and went back and multiplied by the divisor to see if that got me back to the dividend that I started with. Let's do another one with some whole numbers. 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So work backwards. 3 times 4 has to equal 12. Does 3 times 4 equal 12? Yes then I'm confident my quotient 3 is correct because it got me back to an answer, the dividend that I started with. Another one would be 50 divided by 10. 50 divided by 10 is 5. So take 5 and multiply it by 10 to see if we get back to 50. Yes. So we know our quotient is correct. When we multiplied by the divisor, we got back to the dividend. So A divided by B, if we're just going to Summarize this pattern. A divided by B equals C. So if we just said A divided by B equals C, then we would work backwards to say C times B has to equal A. Let's apply it to a fraction problem. What if we're given this division problem and told to check the answer using multiplication? Well, the dividend is two-fifths. The divisor is four-fifteenths. The quotient is three over two. So if we're going to take that same pattern and go back and check our answer by multiplying by the dividend to see if we get to the divisor, then we would end up with 3 over 2 times 4 fifteenths. Does that get me back to 2 fifths? And how do we multiply fractions? We multiply straight across. So if we were going to actually do the math with 3 over 2 times 4 fifteenths, then we would go straight over, straight across. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 15 is 30. The top and bottom can both be divided by 6. As long as we divide the top and the bottom by the same thing, we can simplify 12 divided by 6 is 2. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So yes, we did get back to 2 fifths by taking 3 over 2 and multiplying by 4 fifteenths. Thanks for watching.